This is a pretty random one, guys, a pretty special one. Uh, I was driving by the Aston Martin dealership here in Monaco and uh, just completely got mesmerized by this car and I wanted to show you. So I'm parked right here, but in front of me is an Aston DB5, not any Aston DB5, guys. This is one of 25 Goldfinger editions in the world in honor of 007 of James Bond. Of course, you guys all, I mean, the, this car is most famous, not only for its stunning looks, but mainly for its, its appearances in various James Bond movies, starting, I believe, in the Goldfinger movie. So, hello, <laughs> is something pretty special. The color is, I mean, it's, it's just beautiful with all the chrome. So, 25, these were built much more recently than the original cars, but built in exactly the same way in the same factory as the original cars in honor and you will see of James Bond and his famous car with all of the gadgets. So this car has all of the James Bond gadgets. So they're all 25 of them are in matching specs. They cost start price of 2.7 million euros. That doesn't include tax. So yeah, good luck. And uh, they're all in matching specs and I think they're pretty much all sold despite the, despite the, uh, the high cost. You can maybe hear some James Bond playlist music going on in the background. But uh, yeah, so three million euros basically once you've added tax and uh, they're all sold because it is probably one of the world's coolest cars. I'll show you all the gadgets in a little bit, but just looking around the back of the car is stunning. If you think you know, you can name every gadget that this car has, put it in the comments down below and then you can check your score at the end of the video to see if you manage to think of all of them. But everything from the chrome rims, the multi-spoke rims like that, the Look at these rear view mirrors as well. So nice. This car can't be homologated for street use, unfortunately. So it's more of a, I mean, the ultimate living room art piece, effectively. It does have a working engine and, you know, over 200 horsepower, but you can't drive it on the road because it has machine guns coming out of the front end. So that is pretty understandable then. Anyway, I guess I mean the exterior you guys all know it, right? Um, but let's hop in on the interior. I'll just show you the little plaque when you get to the interior. The door is so heavy, so meaty, and you've got the smell of new old car, if that makes any sense. You've got the 007 Goldfinger Edition plaque, hand-built in England, uh, and this one for EON Productions. There you go, Aston Martin. By appointment to HR, His Royal Highness, the Prince of Wales motor car manufacturer and repairer. I mean, that is pretty cool, isn't it? So let's hop in the other side. It's got the classic Aston little grills on the side there. Super Leggera, the name of course, which has been brought back with the more recent DBS. Now, let's hop in. I have the key on me. First of all, look at these seats. They, don't they just look so comfy? They, when you sit down in this car, it basically feels like you're sitting down on a couch. Okay, so when you hop in, I mean, it is just beautiful in here. The chromes continue. You've got this thin wooden steering wheel, which is just so nice. Feels so classy. Five speed uh, little gear stick here. Pedals are slightly off to the right, but everything just feels so classy. And look at this. See those wing mirrors we were talking about earlier? You can see the little roof. Uh, well, roof scoop, hood scoop, uh, air inlet right there. So, so cool. Anyway, I've got the key with me. I believe this is the right one. I, I bet you James Bond was probably a lot smoother at this than I am being right now. Okay, there we go. Turn the key, ignition on, and then I can start playing around with some of the toys. So this, because the battery keeps going on and off, sometimes doesn't work quite as smooth. There was a hidden button here. When you press it, you just kind of need to help this guy out. Okay, a little bit of magic in the editing, and we've now got the sat-nav up here. How cool is this? Proper James Bond old school style sat-nav, which actually works. See, that's giving you exactly where we are right now. You've got the little radio as well, and then just all in all, I mean, how, how, just how cool is this? Obviously, radio, not particularly 60s-ish, but very cool. You've got, you've got the all-famous hidden under here, Ejector seat, which I don't think is switched on, but we're not going to press the button regardless. So the passenger is actually sat on an ejector seat. So you press this button, this flap in the roof opens, and off you go. So there's a little party trick. If there's someone you don't like that's come to your cocktail party at your house, make them sit there and just send them up into the ceiling. Then this looks like your standard little armrest. If you lift it up, 
This is where all the toys hide. So you've got oil, so I think that puts oil now behind you, rear smoke, front ram, to, so the, the front and rear bumper can come out and ram the cars in front or behind. You've got guns, the roof hatch, uh, bullet shield, which is round back, and then your number plate, which you can change, which is so sick. And uh, yeah, I mean, look at this interior. How cool is this? Wait, let me, let me show you those. I'm gonna call a friend who's gonna come and show us all of the gadgets on the front. Okay, so we're around front. Look at this. I think we're gonna start with the license plate, the famous anti-speeding ticket license plate. How cool is that? So you're gonna have your Swiss plate, your British plate, whatever you want. So James Bond. We've also got the ram for the front and the rear. So the this, so let's say you <laughs> how cool is that? If you've parked too close to someone and you just want to push them a little bit further away, you just ram them with your front bumper. But then the famous one, of course, are the guns hidden in the indicators right here. A couple of them. I mean, that is the ultimate party piece right there. And then round rear, you've got actually this bulletproof shield which will pop up and, uh, and in theory, so, oh, you've also got the rams round back, look at that. How cool is that? And the license plate, of course, which is also doing its thing. So cool. And the bulletproof shield, which would come up and is actually bulletproof and to stop you getting shot at, I guess, in your DB5 as you're going down the street. You've then also got, right here, with the 007 emblem, what looks like a tool kit, but it is actually a tire shredding kit. I mean, any usual car would have a, a tool kit here, but an actual tire shredding kit. I guess it is the James Bond car, so it's what you've come to expect. So, so cool. I saw it here, and I thought I just can't not show you this. So yeah, massive thanks to Aston Monaco. It's a quick tour around the car, but I just wanted to show you around the, the, the little gadgets, because it is, it is epic. 2.7 million euros if you want one. I think they're basically all sold. I'm sure you can find a way. If you are James Bond, you can always find a way. Probably the coolest car I've ever seen.